today at cadet summer training. 3rd Regiment Advanced Camp snuck their way through Objective South in order to ambush the oppositional forces. Cadets moved through thicker bushes, around trees, and over logs to find their location of ambush. After a squad of cadets finally settled, the rest of the platoon arrived at their new location and awaited the op for. The cadets were motionless, and that's when the enemy arrived. I heard somebody scream, Claymore, Claymore, Claymore. I was like, okay, so this is happening now. <laughs> Shots began to fill the air, echoing through the woods, when 3rd Regiment discovered a major problem. Oh gosh, neither of our weapons will fire. So when both of those went down, I had to kind of call everyone off and say, hey, pick up your M4s and start shooting. But it didn't stop 3rd Regiment. They quickly defeated the oppositional forces, took what they could from them, and headed on out. But what was the issue with the 240s? You'd never guess. No Normal rounds have a tip on them that fits in the bolt correctly, but this, yeah, the blanks are a little bit shorter, so you put something in there called a discriminator. And we used MRE spoons, so it's just like a tiny bit of space you used to fit the round in. So when it fires, it lines up perfectly with the bolt, but we don't think that the round was seated perfectly. In the meantime, cadets had a few quick tips for future cadets who have to enter the wonderful world of FTX. Learn how to field prep, I guess, because I brought out so much stuff that I didn't need and now I'm running around with it everywhere I go. So I have probably an extra 10 pounds in my ruck that I don't need for anything. They're like performance indexers and they're like, this is how you increase your performance. Definitely listen to them. They have a lot of great advice. So for future cadets, I definitely recommend like you, I mean, you need to know a baseline of like tactics, but don't come in thinking that you're going to be working with a platoon of superstar rangers. Like, I mean, a lot of what is in the Ranger Handbook doesn't necessarily work for cadets, so it's a lot of being able to decide with common sense of what you need to mitigate. Be a team player. Um, that's really the biggest thing here, in my opinion. Advice for future cadets. <laughs> well, whenever you're getting ready to, to come to camp, uh, be sure to visualize yourself at camp doing everything. We're all going to get tired, so like everyone is going to be tired and they're all going to be in the same situation, so just don't let that, like, the one that gets to your head. Confidence and just know that you got your people on the left and your right of you. I would say really focus on your tactics because when you come out here, uh, it's really important to know how to maneuver your people and how everything's supposed to work. But the biggest thing is like really work on those leadership attributes because even though tactics are important and having the missions like be successful is important, they're mostly grading you on how you perform under pressure. And like everybody's tired, everybody's hungry, so it's like, like when when there's a detail that like needs to go get water, pick up MRE boxes, and like nobody wants to do it. It's just like you have to be willing to be that person, like be like be that important change. Reporting for Cadet Summer Training PAO, I'm Michelle Briscoe.